Hi, in this video training of Python NumPy, we will be looking at NumPy array iterating. Iterating means going through elements one by one. As we deal with multi-dimensional arrays in NumPy, we can do this using basic for loop of Python. If we iterate on a 1D array, it will go through each element one by one. So let's look at the simple example of iterating through 1D array. So it's simply the same uh, process as we do for normal arrays in Python. First of all, let's create a project file for this training and let's call it python numpy array iterating.py okay let's import numpy as np and let's declare an array np dot or okay in here array is equal to np dot array and pass in the list five and <coughs> we can say for x in array and print x save the file let's go to the console and run the program python numpy array iterating uh, python okay let's forgot to save it python numpy <coughs> Python, Python, numpy, array, yeah. You see we have one, two, three, four, five on the console as an output, which are <coughs> the elements in our array. Now let's see the iteration in 2D arrays. In a 2D array, it will go through all the rows, iterating on the elements <coughs> of 2D array. So let's see this how it works with 2D rays. <coughs> Iterating through 1D array. Let's see. Iterating through <coughs> 2D array and we import numpy as np array is equal to np dot array and we are going to create two dimensional array so doing that and for x in array print x let's see how does it goes okay now you see we have got the two arrays as elements in the two dimensional array so it printed the whole array as an element and then printed the next array as an as a second element so that's how the normal for loop goes for 2d arrays in a 2d array it will go through all the rows iterating from 2d array if we iterate on it nd array it will go through n one dimension one by one to return the actual value, the scalars, we have to iterate the arrays in each dimension. <coughs> so let's see an example to iterate on each scalar element of the 2D array. So what we need to do is we need to create a nested for loop within the X for loop and for this i say for x for y for x in array and then for y in x and let's print y and save the file go to the console you see we have listed all the elements in both the arrays in a 2d array so we had to introduce a nested for loop for this so let's see how we iterate through 3D arrays. In a 3D array, it will go through all the 2D arrays. Iterate on the elements of the following 3D array. So 
So let's create a 3D array and iterate through that 3D array. So comment this out and iterating through 3D array import numpy as np array equals np dot array and going to create a 3d array one two three and we have four five six and then we have seven eight nine and then we have 10 11 and 12 <coughs> okay let's set a for loop for x in array and print x save the file go to the console you see we have output it the arrays as elements in a 3d array using the normal python for loop okay to return the actual values the scalars <coughs> in the scalars we have to iterate the arrays in each dimension so what we have to do is we have to use three nested loops for loops to print the scalars in the three dimensional array so what we need to do is we need to introduce a nested loops to print all the values in the 3d array you see we have printed all the values in the 3d array using nested for loops so okay iterating arrays using nd iter the function nd iter is a helping function that can be used from very basic to very advanced iterations it solves some basic issues which we face in iteration let's go through it with examples iterating on each scalar element in basic for loops iterating through each scalar of an array we need to use n for loops which can be difficult to write for arrays with very high dimensionality <coughs> so let's use nd iter helper function in a 3d array so this was a normal one just copy this and we can use it here iterating through 3d array using nd iter helper function and now we can what we can do is we can remove these two nested loops and we can say array dot or nb np dot nd iter and we pass in the array to this helper function and print the value of x go to the console you see we have the same output as we had using the nested loop here so the nd iter helper function made the problem easier and we didn't had to use nested for loops to print the scalar elements in the 3d array iterating array with different data types we can use op underscore d types argument and pass it the expected data type to change the data type of elements while iterating numpy does not change the data type of the element in place where the element is in array so it needs some other space to perform this action that extra space is called buffer and in order to enable it in and iter we pass flags equals buffered so let's look an example 
let's create a single one dimensional array so let's copy this and paste it here and okay let's create a simple 1d array okay one two three three elements and we say for x in np dot and writer and we are passing a flag and we say buffered and another argument that says op d types and says s and go to the console print see we have got one two three as the output that is the normal one so let's see how we can iterate with different data step size we can use filtering and followed by iteration let's iterate through every scalar element of the 2d array skipping one element that is also possible using end iter helper function so let's copy this and let's create a 2d array okay and four five six so we have a 2d array and for x in np writer and and what we need to do is we need to pass a filter colon colon two and print x go to the console you see we have skipped every second element in the array there are eight elements in the 2d array but we have skipped each next one so we have one three four six one three four six and we missed out two and five one two two five yeah so that's you can do it with inditer the next thing is enumerated array iteration using nd numerate enumeration means mentioning sequence number of some things one by one sometimes we require corresponding index of the element while iterating the nd numerate method can be used for those use cases <coughs> let's look at an example enumerate on following 1d array elements so let's try this function let's comment this out and let's create a single dimension array which is a 1d array and we say for idx and x in np nd numerate nd numerate Okay, and we pass in the array and we print out idx <coughs> and the value of x go to the console we print out you see we have printed out the exact value and the position index position of the scalar element so we have 0 1 1 2 and 1 3 so let's try this 4 5 6 and let's run the program again you see we have the index numbers and we have the values so that's how you can enumerate with the index values idx represents the index value in the array okay we can use this enumerate function with 2d arrays as well so let's copy this comment this out and let's create a 2d array one two three and four five six okay and this stays the same so we go to the console run the program you see we have the index numbers for the 2d arrays so zero zero is one zero one is two zero two is three then we have the second array so it says 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 2. So 
so we have four five seven so it's quite helpful when you are working with complex problems especially scientific data so i hope you have liked this topic and video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel <coughs> uh, see you in next video with new topic till then bye